so much news about former royals in the last couple of weeks. The Sussexes will spend Christmas at Sandringham. Or they won't. But anyway, Wayward Son announces he will call his father at Christmas. Donations to Harry and Meghan's foundation, Archwell or Archwell, plummet. Harry and Meghan went to a holiday party and displayed some PDA. Markle's release disappointing Christmas card. Meghan takes another walk in a parking lot. Harry slays a dragon. These people get up to so much. Yeah, me either. Maybe let's focus on the joys and festivities of the holiday season. No matter how hard Meghan and Harry try to get our attention with their tedious antics, we do have the option of simply ignoring them and partaking of more seasonally appropriate diversions. The Princess of Wales's carol service, anyone? There are some folks who have notably, perhaps pointedly, ignored at least Meghan Markle, if not Harry, this holiday season, and those folks would be the writers and producers of The Crown, which has now delivered its grand finale. For those of you who have not yet watched all the remaining episodes, well, I was going to say spoiler alert, but really, this fictional account of the lives of the Windsors seems even more fictional this season, and it wasn't as if none of us knew how the major plot points were going to be resolved. Anyway, Charles married Camilla. William married Catherine. The Queen dies. The only thing I didn't see coming was how Harry was portrayed in the series. You'd think Netflix, which is, after all, one of Harry's and Meghan's employers these days, would have been a little more tender in dealing with the character of Harry in the series, if only to insist he was a more lovable, even bankable commodity in order to prop up their investment in him. But wow, the Prince Harry, as depicted in The Crown, is one of the most sullen, spoiled, envious, unlikable little twits you've seen on screen in a long while. In some of the scenes, the now Duke seems downright scary, all sulky stares and promises to William that he would never try to murder him in order to gain a better place in the line of succession. One sigh of relief we can all breathe, however, is as the series draws to a close, not one puff of air was wasted on Meghan Markle. The only hint of the tragedy of Meghan Markle to come is the deep dive into Harry's simmering teenage anger and low self-esteem that would, in the fullness of time, make him an easy mark for the manipulative Ms. Markle. It is said that around this time, the now Princess of Wales joke-gifted her brother-in-law a grow-your-own-girlfriend kit for Christmas. Knowing what disaster has resulted from Harry's seemingly final choice of girlfriend, in the world of the crown, one can still hope he would have actually used the kit. I mean, seriously, he couldn't have been met with less success if he had. Knowing what we know now, though, one can only imagine what the pathetically, pathologically envious Meghan Markle thinks of all the screen time Catherine, the future queen, gets in the series that Meghan's own employers have produced for public consumption. This has got to be the worst part of the crown for La Markle that she didn't rate even a mention in the entire series. Think of the magnitude of the fit she is likely throwing in Montecito. Schadenfreude much? This is our last post for the year of our Lord 2023, and now we're going to take a little well-deserved break. We'll be back on Thursday, January 18th with weekly posts, unless, that is, the Sussexes get up to such antics that we are drawn away from the peaceable and seasonally appropriate endeavors of cooking for family, attending holiday parties, and drinking too much spiked eggnog. Here's wishing all of us at least this little bit of peace. If you like what we're doing here at The Authentic, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment, which makes the algorithm very happy. Thank you for watching, and see you on January 18th. Meantime, May you be surrounded by family and friends and have the happiest holiday season.